All right, each year, Codes for Kids helps children in Utah stay warm for the winter. And really, uh, we've been collaborating with them here at ABC4 to make sure that we can help out as well. But how does a Major League Soccer team help out with this all? That's the question we have here this afternoon. The perfect people to ask this to, to Zach McMath, uh, who's the goalie for Real Salt Lake. And then Kyle Tell me your last name one more time. Schroeder. Schroeder. Okay. And we are so grateful for both of you being here and representing the team and making such a difference for uh, coats, the coat drive that we're doing at this point. Tell us a bit about how Real is helping collect coats. Yeah. Um, my wife, uh, like we were just speaking about, uh, we've got two young kids and every you know winter we go through their old coats and we're thinking, wow, we've kind of accumulated a few coats here. Um, we'd like to do something with them. So my wife reached out to Kyle and said, hey, can we do a coat drive to collect coats for our community? And uh, he helped set up uh, this, this drive. Yeah, so we, uh, we asked fans to kind of join us, our players, our players, significant others, to come to the team store, drop off their coats, um, and really help out the community. You know, we ask the community to come support us all the time. So we love to have the opportunity to come out and support them when they need us as well. That is what it, it's such a force. You have fans that love you and love the team, all that you represent, and then to say, hey, we're behind this drive, help out in this way too. And people have showed up. Tell me what kind of response you've had. Yeah, we uh, went to the RSL team store at the stadium at America Field, or America Financial Field, and uh, we had a couple players, a couple kids, uh, a couple wives come, and fans got to come and uh, trade in their coats and then get some jerseys engraved on their on the back as well. So it was a good time to just hang out and get to talk with fans and do it for a good cause. That yeah. was probably like the smallest thing. They're like, oh, we're going to give you a coat and you're going to give us a jersey and a signature. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so no, it was a great way to kind of, you know, incentivize people to do something they're already doing um, to, you know, continue to do well in the community. And then to really make sure we had our players buy in, you know, they're taking photos, they're doing these pieces. So we were able to bring in, I think, about 70 youth coats, and then we had a lot more in the adult sizes as well. So it was really a great show up. Okay, and that's what we have around us is all of these different various coats. Coats, sweatshirts, hoodies, I mean, all of it. Any way to help kids of all ages and sizes uh, get and stay warm for the wintertime. So tell us quick, too, Zach, you were awarded quite the title recently. Can you talk a bit about that? Which title is which, that? Which, title, which award? Which award? The Humanitarian Award, I'm told? Yes. Uh, Tell me about this. Humanitarian of the Year for uh, Real Salt Lake. Um, uh, since I got to Salt Lake, uh, I reached out to Kyle and really wanted to get involved in the community for many of the same reasons we're doing this coat drive, just to really help support the people that support us on the field. And, um, yeah, I feel very uh, happy to be awarded that uh, title. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yeah, just anything that we can do as players to give back is, uh, is special to me. That really is special. Kyle, what do you want to urge uh, the public today since you are here representing the team and all that you all stand for? Yeah, so, you know, we want to make sure that if there's a community need that we get to know about it. Our players are tremendous in wanting to help out and support as much as they can. Um, and then we do ask, like I said, for people to come and support us. So we do have a home playoff game on Monday, November 6th, uh, 7 o'clock at America First Field. So we definitely love your guys' support out there and, you know, cheer these guys on as they're competing. Competing, uh, and going on in the MLS Cup playoffs. Yeah. It's such a big deal. It's so exciting. Tell us, I, I know we're off topic on the codes, but real quick question, oh. we'll get back to the codes too. How are Real Salt Lake and then of course the fans gearing up for the playoffs? Because that, that's just days away now. Yeah, it's been a couple years since we've had a, a home playoff game. Um, it's a big one. It's if, you know, when, if we lose, we're out. If we win, we're still in the playoffs. So it's throwing <laughs> everything at this game and we need uh, all the support behind us. Ooh, I feel the pressure for you. Yeah, we know our fans are going to show up for us. Um, it's an exciting time, so we're just looking forward to a great atmosphere, um, getting behind these guys as much as we can and having them go through to the next round. Okay, thank you both for your time here today. We do want to let those at home know they have been collecting coats as Real Salt Lake. Also, as a station, we have some donation bins at Nettles Sewing Centers that are the nearest one near you. You can still donate until Friday new or gently used coats and sweatshirts to take part in the big coat drive that we've been doing for a month. Thank you for your effort in this drive and really encouraging your fans to come and take part in a good cause as well. Absolutely. Thank no, you. Thank you guys as well. We appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here today. Blues